alter ego, which is me of the Space Frontier Foundation, not me of the Space Up Foundation. So. All right, space, the final frontier. Yes, somebody had to bring it up because we are in San Francisco, home of Star Trek Academy. So this is the Enterprise, which went out and cataloged new worlds and cataloged new cultures and new species and everything. And they explored and they went out to seek and go places. And I was kind of thinking about this going like, all right. So they found all these new people. They went all these new places. They helped some people with wars and all that kind of oddness. But that's not really what most people think of when they hear the word frontier or pioneers or voyages. I mean, not us. We have a very interesting viewpoint of the world, obviously. But most people don't think of space when they hear frontier. What they think of is the wild, wild west. A completely different mentality from Star Trek. They think of covered wagons and fighting with Indians and everything. And they, these people right here in the little crazy wagon, they did not go look at the Indians and say, oh, we found three different types of Indians. Go home and tell them about the three different types of Indians. No, they built a city because they wanted resources, they wanted space, they wanted freedom. They went here to stay. And I posit that this is one of the biggest problems with the space industry right now. We don't include children. <laughs> children don't go to space. It's way too dangerous and crazy. Families don't go to space. But they went to the frontier. They lived on the frontier. They died on the frontier too, it's true, but they went there and stayed. Then I think, wait, we call space the frontier. But this is our most permanent place in space. And this is not a home. This is a vacation house. Nobody lives here. This is, you know, nobody has their knickknacks on the walls and, you know, has their kids on there. So what I'm saying is we need to start talking about space settlement, not space exploration. Yeah. We need to stop saying, oh, space exploration. How can we fund space exploration? No. How can we fund space settlement with exploration as a byproduct? Mm -hmm. Granted, we have to explore because so we've got to find new places. <laughs> But the point is not to go find the weirdos and the microbes and then come home and tell us about it. And then go find other weirdos and come home and tell us about it. Because as a species, we want to expand. If we don't expand, we're moving backwards. So as Chris McKay says, we need to change it. It's not to boldly go, it's to boldly stay. And we're going to go somewhere and stay there, no matter what the risk. So what we need to do is adopt the mentality of the wild, wild west. There's many ways to do this. One is with the Space Frontier Foundation. The Space Frontier Foundation's driving goal, no matter what else we do, the one goal that we never waver from is focusing on space settlement. We want to open the frontier to human settlement as rapidly as possible. So no matter whether it's popular or whether it's funded, we are always focused on how to get to that goal as quickly as possible. And there are a number of ways that we do this. We do it through political activism, we have a conference, we do education outreach, and we support uh, space startups that are focused on advancing space settlement in one way or another. So we want to make space into something that's open to everybody for all of these reasons and more. But notice this word, permanently. We don't want to go visit and come back. We want to expand permanently because imagine what these next generations could discover, become, if they got to expand. So you can help by joining our mailing list. We send out action alerts. Some are, I warn you, not always that popular with the majority of people. Some are really popular, but we're looking at the long goal. We're looking like astronomical units long. So while it maybe seems a little confusing right now, that's the goal. So we're not dreaming small dreams. And if you want to help us, you can donate and volunteer. I need help <laughs> in the marketing department, for example. Um, so if you want to focus on a big goal, bigger than just, say, explore, exploration, but settlement, right. this is how you can do it. We also have a conference right here at NASA Ames. It's in July. <coughs> Registration is open. So if you have a stake in settlement or you have a stake in the space industry, that's where you can come and talk about it with other people leading the industry. I want you to go to the space leaders and tell them to adopt the Wild West frontier mentality, to tell them when they make a decision about what to fund, when they make a decision about where to go, to think about it from the idea of, can we settle there? How will that advance settlement? Instead of thinking, oh, how would this be cool to take a picture of and come home? Because if it's accomplished in your lifetime, it's not big enough. What I want you to do when you go home from here is to think about something bigger than you, or your nation, or your company, or your kids. 
you think about all of humanity and how you can help all of humanity leave the cradle and go to the wild, wild west of space. And there's all of our web links and stuff because you're Twitter people. <laughs>